Hello Danzig Fitness family and welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, I'm Desiree and I'm so happy you're all joining me today for this fabulous 30-minute ballet Pilates fusion workout, something I like to call Pilates. You don't necessarily need ballet experience to do this workout, so don't you worry, everyone is welcome. It's an intermediate advanced workout and boy, are you going to feel the burn in all the right places. Section one, we're going to start on the feet and really challenge our strength, flexibility, and balance. That'll serve as our warm up. And then for section two, we're going to get down on the floor, down on the mats, and finish nice and strong. All right, friends, let's get to it. This is a HIT style workout, and as always, I will be demonstrating the first exercise before we get going, and then I'll be demonstrating the other exercises during your 20 second rest. Here's exercise number one. We're going to go for some knee crunches. Your arms are in a ballet high fifth above the head, and then when you crunch the knee in towards your chest, lower your arms to your ballet first position. Alrighty, move as quickly as you can, but form is the most important thing. You set your own speed. Let's do it. All right, friends, and we are off. Make sure your shoulders are always pressing down. Of course, those tummy muscles are working always, always, always. And just feel your supporting leg really lengthened and pulled up. Beautiful, looking good, 30 seconds left. And of course, make sure you're always breathing nice and deep. I like to exhale as the knee comes in and inhale as I place my foot down, 20 seconds. Good, 10 seconds left, keep going. Very nice. Take your 20 second rest and let me demonstrate exercise number two. We're gonna plie pulse squat down twice and we're just going to alternate popping our heels up. So we're in our forced arch position. Down, down, stretch up. And down, down, stretch up, good. Really feel your shoulders stacked right above the hips and make sure when you plie squat down that you're not sticking your bottom out, unlike a traditional squat. So for this one, the tailbone is really shooting straight down to the floor. Very nice. Stay strong, 20 seconds left. Breathe deep, everyone. Ten seconds, you're almost there. Yes, good job. All right, up next, we're gonna squeeze the legs together. Fingertips are really rooting down into the floor. We do a gentle bounce twice and then stretch the legs up as long as you can. Bounce, bounce, and lengthen the legs long. Really try to press the heels down into the floor as you stretch your legs up as long as you can. And make sure you're really allowing your head to drop down nice and heavy. So you should feel a really nice stretch, not only in the spine, but in the backs of your legs, calves, Achilles. Beautiful, everyone. 20 seconds. Keep going. Always striving for your longest legs possible. 10 seconds. Very nice. All right. Feet in a ballet first position, hands on the hips. We're going to plie pulse again four times. And then we do a big brush to the front with the right leg and a brush to the front with the left leg. 
And again, tailbone is shooting straight down towards the floor. Make sure the knees are over the toes in those plie pulses. And again, when you kick your legs, you're making both legs as long as you can make them. 30 seconds. Stay strong, keep going. Nice, 20 seconds left. Make sure your core muscles are always activated to help you stay nice and stable and balanced, super important. 10 seconds. Very nice. Take your 20 second rest. We're going back to our parallel leg and foot line for this next one. We're gonna take a side lunge with a bend and then you're gonna push off that supporting foot and lift up to a jazz passe. Super challenging, but oh so fun. And go for it, friends. So we really have to find the balance between pushing off enough that you can get on top of your supporting leg, but not pushing too much to the point where you kind of overshoot it. Such a good exercise. 30 seconds, keep going. Really enjoy that nice side bend. Beautiful, almost there, 10 seconds, keep going. Very nice. All right, next up, we're gonna do the same thing, of course, on the second side. Let's even it all out. And go for it. Nice big lunge, really shifting the weight, side bend and push off the floor and stand tall in your jazz passe. Thirty seconds. Keep going, friends. Looking good. Almost there. 10 seconds, keep going, don't give up. Nice work. All right, friends, we got two more. Let's do our arabesque lifts. So your supporting knee is bent or in plie. We lift the leg up three times and then we're gonna shift our weight back and then shift our weight forward again. So of course we're really squeezing those buns, those glutes at the top of the arabesque. Shift back and shift forward. So both legs are externally rotated for this one. Good, 30 seconds. Belly button always pulling in and up. Twenty seconds. Good. Ten seconds. You can do it. Ah, isn't that a fun one? All right, of course we have to even it out. So our final exercise in this section one is the same thing on the other side. Go for it. Standing leg in a nice deep plie. In your arabesque lifts, 
or leg lifts to the back that you're really stretching that leg as long as you can. So good, 20 seconds, keep going, keep breathing, you can do it. Yes, you did it, amazing job everyone. All right, we're not done yet, go grab your mats and let's get into section two okay everybody come sit down on your mats and let's talk about exercise number one feet are flexed legs are turned out belly first position arms are in first position as well and we're in our half roll back position belly button is scooped tailbone is tucked under we're gonna pulse back twisting to the right pulse back again in the center and then again twisting to the left and last one in the center then you're going to root your fingertips down into the floor leg lift with the right flex the foot on the way down and then leg lift with the left pointing up and flexing down of course you can keep your feet flexed the whole time if you prefer all right let's start it up here we go And get it going. Really twisting from the waist. I would always exhale on each one of your uh, pulses back. And make sure you're really using those inner thighs to float the leg up and to lower the legs down with control. Nice job, everybody. 20 seconds left. Keep that belly button scooped. Keep the tailbone tucked under. You shouldn't have any lower back pain in this position. Good, 10 seconds. Keep squeezing those inner thighs and heels together. Very nice. All right, take your 20 second rest. Here's exercise number two. We are lifting up in our reverse butterfly tabletop. Lower the pelvis down. Stretch your right leg out to the side, left leg out to the side, and then we go again. All right, friends, go for it. We're on the balls of the feet. Really squeeze those glutes to lift up into your tabletop. And we're stretching the legs as long as we can to the side. Beautiful. Shoulders pressing down, really engaging in the entire back of the body in that tabletop position. 15 seconds, you can do it, keep going. Great job, all right, take your 20 second breather. Here's exercise number three. We're gonna go for a full roll up, just to your seated position, grabbing the leg and adding in a twist. So moving as quickly as you can, articulating through the spine. If you float up the right leg, you're twisting to the right. And when you float up the left leg, you're twisting to the left. Really feel your spine spiraling upwards in this beautiful leg lift and twist. We want to be as tall as possible, no slouching. 20 seconds, keep going. Beautiful, 10 seconds left, don't give up, don't give up. Very good. Oh, all right, friends, let's do a passe leg drop. I want you to cross your right ankle over your left thigh or right on top of that uh, left knee. Hands are underneath your bottom and we just lower down and lift up. All right, go for it, friends. I'm 
in my crunched up position. However, if you're feeling like you're getting a little bit tired, you can always have your head down on the floor if you want. Otherwise, really try to challenge yourself. Stay lifting up nice and high, lower back pressing into the floor at all times. No arching allowed. Beautiful, 20 seconds everyone. Make sure that right passe knee is facing out to the side. Getting a nice little hip stretch here, nice little hip opener, as well as working the core. So good, love that one. All right, take a breather in your home base position. Lower the head down, rock the knees side to side, breathe deep, smile. And let's do the same thing on the second side. So now cross your left leg on top of the right, left knee out to the side. And go for it, passe leg drop. Only lower that leg as far as your core can support. No arching allowed. Thirty seconds. Stay strong. Looking good. Keep going, everyone. Ten seconds. Yes, so good, core on fire. All right, let's get our ballet beats going and our straddle splits. So we're laying down, arms out to the side like a T, legs are turned out. We're gonna cross and beat four times and pulse in your straddle split also four times. Head stays down for this one. Allow your arms to help really stabilize your body. So press them strongly into the floor. Good, really nice everybody. So good for those inner thighs. Legs should stay as rotated as possible, nice and turned out. And of course, longest legs you can make, always striving for beautiful long lines. Ten seconds, keep going, don't give up. Love that one. All right, let's get on our side and we're gonna go for some grand plies. Gluing the heels together, we're on our forearm. We stretch the legs out and bend them in. Stretch out and bend in. All right, friends, go for it. So we're not fully on our side and we're not fully on our bottom. We're kind of somewhere in between which of course makes it super challenging. Not only are we really working the legs, the buns, the thighs, but this is such a good core exercise as well. I always really feel this in my obliques. 20 seconds. You can do it, keep going. Good, 10 seconds. Yes, ah, oh, such a good one. All right, take some nice deep breaths, swing those legs around. Let's do the same thing on the second side. And go for it, friends. Really glue those heels together. When you stretch your legs out, keep your legs externally rotated and really just feel the energy shooting out of those heels. So good, 30 seconds, keep going. Beautiful, you got it, 10 seconds, don't stop.
Nice job. All right, let's get down onto the bellies for our prone exercise. We're going to lay in an X. From here, lifting up into your back extension. Try to touch your calves or shins with your fingertips. And then we lift up again with straight legs. So lifting up mermaid position with the legs. And then the second one, keeping the legs as long as you can. Good, such a great exercise. We're really working the whole posterior chain, entire back of the body, the back, the glutes, the hamstrings. We love it. Good, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Nice work. All right, friends, let's get into a hovering tabletop. So we are tucking the toes under, lifting the knees and shins off the mat. Right knee comes in towards your chest, and then we shift back and extend to your beautiful ponche. And go for it. So we're just working the right leg, knee in, lengthen up to the sky. And again, knee crunches in, in that hovering tabletop. Longest legs you can make in your ponche. So good, 20 seconds. Keep going, breathe deep. Good, 10 seconds. Very nice, friends. Oh, all right, feel free to shift back into your child's pose for a moment. And we'll do the same thing on the second side. All right, now the left leg is doing the majority of the movement here. Left knee comes in towards the chest and then shift it back. And lengthen the leg up and out. Beautiful palm shape. 30 seconds. Looking good, everyone. Keep going. Really fight for it. You got 10 seconds left. Nice. All right, what do you say we go for a little swim back onto the bellies and we flutter the legs. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna roll onto one side and do two beautiful kicks to the side. All right, friends, start it up. We're not going to alternate sides. So every time you roll onto your side, just keep rolling onto the same side. That way you're always kicking the same leg. Belly button always pulling in and up, especially in your swim to protect the lower back. And again, longest legs you can make in your beautiful ballet grand battement to the side. Kick, 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 kick. Good, 10 seconds. Very nice. All right, take some deep breaths. And let's do the same thing on the second side. So now you're going to roll onto your other side. That way you're always kicking your other leg. And start it up, swim, swim, swim. Nice quick legs. Roll onto your side. Good. Back onto the bellies with control. Make sure those transitions are nice and smooth. Really use your core. 
Looking good. 20 seconds. Stay strong, everyone. Ten seconds. Yes, great job. All right, here's one of my favorites. We're getting into a high plank pose. Again, just working one leg. Right leg comes up to your ballet passe behind the knee. And then we're going to go into our plank split with that right leg. So just the right leg moves. Go for it, friends. Everything else stays nice and still and stable. Beautiful, 30 seconds. Keep that booty down, no cheating. Gaze at your mat. Tummy muscles really working. 15 seconds, keep going, you got this. Yes! All right, shift it back in your child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths. Of course, we have to do that again on the second side. So now just your left leg will move to your passe and split. Go for it. Toes behind the knee in your passe. And then split the leg, keeping that booty down. 30 seconds. Good. Almost there, my friends. 10 seconds. Keep going. I know you can do it. Don't give up. Beautiful. Ah, oh, one of my favorites. So, so, so good. All right, let's get into a forearm tabletop. Again, just moving the right leg, we're going to go into a ballet coupe. Pulse attitude three times, and then back down to your coupe. So right leg is externally rotated. We're stacking ankle on top of ankle. Pulsing up in your attitude three times. Really, really, really squeezing those buns. Such a good one for the glutes and the hamstrings. Good. No extra movement in the body. Don't arch the back. Don't lose your core. Keep those tummy muscles working. 15 seconds. Stay strong, friends. You got this. Keep going. Very nice. Oh, all right, we gotta even it all out. Let's do the same thing on the second side. So now you're just moving the left leg. Stacking left ankle on top of the right. Make sure that left leg is externally rotated. Your knee should be facing out to the side. Good, 30 seconds. Squeezing the glute at the top of each pulse. Good, almost there, 10 seconds. Yes! All right, friends, we have one more. Let's finish strong. We are starting in a high plank pose, and we are going to adjust to our side plank and find your inner swan. We do two beautiful swan arms, and then we'll switch over to the second side. 
center plank, side plank, arm goes up and down, up and down, and back to your center plank. Then go the other way. Beautiful, soft, graceful arm, and the body is so super strong. Good, keep going friends, 20 seconds. Ten seconds left, you can do it. Really push yourself. Yes! And you are complete. Shift back in your child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths. Good, and roll up through the spine. And of course, give yourself a huge, huge hug. I am so proud of you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Take care of you, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.